Oh, hey guys, what is up? I know it's been super long. Forgive me, forgive me. <laughs> Let's get started with this video though, seriously. I've been really loving this primer. This is the Essay Edit Primer. It's super amazing. Um, so moving on to foundation. You guys know I love the EX1 foundation. I did a video on it, so I'll link it down below if you want to see a review. Also, if you didn't know, they did come out with eight new shades and they are super amazing. So yellow and not pink at all, guys. And moving on to concealer, I'm going to use the new Tarte Shape Shape Concealer. I know it's really hard to get your hands on this, but definitely turn on your notifications on Tarte Cosmetics Instagram. And I think that's the best way to get your hands on this. That's how I did it at least. I would definitely do it on Ulta's Instagram also just because like they do sell this concealer and they're exclusive to Ulta. So definitely do that. A little tip for you so you can get your hands on this. I got you, girl. Um, so moving on, you know I love the Laura Mercier. Is this what it's called? Anyways, you know what I mean. Moving on to blush. I did get this little tester uh, from Tarte Cosmetics, and it's such a cute blush. It's called Captivating. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use the same pore vanishing stick that I used on my face from Essay Edit. It works magic. Okay, so moving on to a transition color, I'm going to use the bronze palette from Kylie Cosmetics. I really like this palette just because it's so versatile very nice neutral colors and then i'm going to use this nice neutral bone color on my lid from this makeup forever palette and then from the same palette i'm going to use this pink color just to use on my crease i was going to do a kind of like a crease look but then i was like nah bring out the big blush yes and then i just blended it all out and i just really liked how it came out because it was just very smoky and kind of berry color i don't know but you know what i mean guys it's so cute i just really liked it so the key to this look was definitely pick up color blend pick up color blend that's it nice and simple so to blend out those harsh edges i picked up this light pink shade and then blended out my crease with that just so we don't have any harsh lines and we just blend it all out but moving on i am going to just do my regular wing liner you guys know i can't live without wing liner and my two dollar eyeliner from nyc it is bomb dot Calm. I also did just have a wing liner, not a full one, so just throwing it out there for you guys. And then I'm also adding a little bit of glitter just to, just, just, you know, just to throw it in there. Glitter is always a good idea, guys. And then I've been really obsessed with this mascara. Oh my god, guys. I'm going to put the, the name down below because it's so amazing. You have to try it. And then I'm going to use Lily Lashes in Miami. They're so gorgeous. Super natural. Not heavy on your eyes. This is my first time trying them out and I really, really like them. Now I'm also taking this nice bone natural color to my waterline just to open up my eyes because I have small eyes. And then for the highlight, I'm using Rodeo, Rodeo Drive. I think that's what it's called from Ofra Cosmetics. And it's gorgeous. It's so amazing, guys. Look at the highlight though. Okay, it's getting late and I'm getting a little weird, so don't mind that part um so now moving on to the lips i'm going to use this color from oprah cosmetics and it's called pasadena i was applying it and then i kind of looked too pink so i applied hex from urban decay cosmetics and it just fixed up the look nice fall berry color do you like do you like because i like guys that is all for today guys i hope you guys liked it give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below see